stand together. Life is a time pass. Can I fare pane ta hai? Koi dikkat nahi, pata nahi. Jo thari rai so mari rai. Nothing to do, no way to go. Dekho suno mat bolo. श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वी ऑलरेडी रेड यू जस्ट समराइज एट नाइन्थ एंड टेन्थ मंत्र स ब्रह्म स शिव से सोक्षर परमस्वराण स एव विष्णु स प्राण स कालोग्नि स चंद्रमा द सेम रियालिटी इज सुपर इम्पोज विथ कॉज एंड इफेक्ट because that is the only area where intellect functions and therefore intellectuals are intelligently miserable for everything they want to find out the cause why this is happening to me because you are qualified therefore it is happening to you the real spiritual practice is to learn karya karana mithya cause and effect is an illusion it is for this purpose this is being told that sa brahma he is the creator the destroyer the, the same never changing the gross the subtle so the gross world and our gross body they are one and the same the subtle world and the subtle body that is hiranya garbha and the tejas they are the same ishvara and the jiva they are the same okay. so on one reality these two types of conditions are superimposed one conditioning is that of the totality called samashti and second conditioning is that of the individuality called as vyashti so understand these two columns ishvara the total created creator jiva the individual creator this world that we see is created by ishvara isha srishti then jiva he also creates his own world what is jiva srishti take this example a woman a girl or lady is created by god out of that lady jiva creates his own creation so out of that girl a daughter is created by the father a wife is created by the husband and a mother is created by the child so there are two creations one is the total creation second is the jiva's creation so as much Ishvara is the creator of this world. That much we are the creator of our own world. Therefore, Ishvara cause Jiva effect. 
they are at, a, at, they are at pa, par in their own creations. See? They in the subtle body. Subtle body is Hiranyagarva or Brahmaji. And we are the Antakaran Chatushta. See? So, whatever experiences are going through, whatever things are imagined, they are all imagined in the mind. So, this whole world is an imaginary projection of the Brahmaji and we have our own imaginary projection in the dream. See? So, subtle body of the totality is called as Brahmaji and subtle body at the individuality is called as Antakaran Chatushte. Then the gross. Gross world is called as Virata Purusha. Sastra Shirsha Purusha, Sastraksha, Sastrapad, Sabhumi Mishvato Vruta, Atyatishta Dashangulam, Purusha Evedagam Sarvam, Yatkincha Jagatyam Jagat, Te Ratyakte Namunjita, Isha Asya Panisha. So the total gross world and the individual gross world to BHK. I am thinking of adding one room. Why? There is no place for furniture. You are talking about yourself? No, no, I am not a furniture. Oh, oh. So, this is what is to be understood here. The gross world is created by the Ishvara and it is in the form of cause and effect. Then we came to the next verse, the ninth verse, where we are told that if you are, what is that verse? Ninth, na? Ninth, ha. Saeva sarvam yadbhutam. Yacha bhavyam sanatanam. Jnatvatam rutyu matteti. Nanya pantha vimukta ye. Sa eva sarvam yad bhutam. So that Paramatma alone is both the cause and effect. Now, what is the cause and effect? Cause is in the earlier period of time. Effect is in the later period of time. In Kenopanishad, the student asks a question that, Sir, tell me what is that because of which Keneshitam Patati Preshitam Manaha, under whose command? This mind is functioning, the sense organs are functioning, etc. So the teacher says, I am sorry, na tatra chakshur gachati na vag gachati na manaha na vidmaha yatha edar anushishya. No, that is not the subject of your sense organs, mind or intellect. And to be very frank, we do not know how to teach it. Yatha edar anushishya. We don't know how to teach it. But your Guru must have told you something? Yes, he told us. What did he tell? Okay, I'll tell you that. He told us, Anya Devatar Viditat Atha Aviditat Adi. The truth is other than the known and the unknown. What is the truth is not told? The truth is other than the known and the unknown. Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? Now you work on it. This is what I was told. I am telling you. Now you work. Hmm, what is known and unknown? I know Gujarati, then truth is not Gujarati, other than the known. I don't know Bengali, but the truth is not Bengali, other than the unknown. Uh Cause is unknown, effect is known. When we do the testing, we see the effects, corona positive or negative. By looking at a person, we can't tell. We have to see the effects. 
So effects are known and cause is unknown. What is the truth? Other than the cause and other than the known and unknown, other than cause and effect. No, it's okay, but we are not able to understand it. Don't understand. You cannot understand it. Because na vidmaha, you cannot, I have not known it, you also cannot know it. See? Therefore, sa eva sarvam yad bhutam yacha bhavyam sanatanam. This truth is beyond cause and effect, beyond the present, past and future, neither created nor destroyed nor modified. All these statements, they can be applied to our own experience. Sa eva sarvam yad bhutam, right from childhood up to death, everything is supported by the same reality. The past, present and future supported by the same reality. But because of that, the truth is not influenced by the principle of time. See? Knowing this, yaj nyatva tam rutyam he who thus knows this, be attentive. That knowledge where nowhere is not born is the truth. Find out. So we come to our own being. I am not because somebody told. I am and I know. This is a simultaneous experience. Therefore, Jnatvatam uh, Mrityu Matteti One transcends the fear of death and Nanya Pantha Vimukta. Therefore, death of the body is not the death. Death of the Jiva is not the death. And death of Paramatma is not the death. Meaning what? As much birth is an illusion, death is also an illusion. Otherwise we will say, if this is so, then how come that Mahatma died? How Bhagavan Krishna died? How Rama Bhagavan left everything? How the great masters died? See, in Bhagavad Mahapuran, the story comes, after having heard the Bhagavad, the Takshaka snake came, and he did his job. Then Parikshaji was beaten and he died. Now the question is, when it is said, after listening to Bhagavad, one attains immortality, how it can happen? So the answer is, before the snake came and he has given him a bite, before that itself, Parikshaji has discarded the notion that he is a body and he is a jiva. So the body died. He anyway he has to die. See? Therefore, Nyatvata Mrityu Matteti. Having known this, one transcends death. Then meaning, he goes beyond death and birth. And Nanya Pantha Vimukta. There is no other way for this. <clears throat> Continue further. Sarva Bhutastam Atmanam Sarva Bhutastam Atmanam Sarva Bhutani Chatmani Sarva Bhutani Sampashan Brahma Paramam Sampashan Brahma Paramam Yati Nane Nahetunam Yati Nane Nahetunam Unless we recognize these two ways, <coughs> be attentive. There are two statements which come in our scriptures. One is Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya. The world is an appearance, not real. Also it comes, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. Everything is Brahman. Now put these two statements together. Other than Brahman, everything is Mithya. And everything is Brahman. Therefore, Brahman is Mithya. So here our understanding should be clear. When we accept something as an illusion, what is the net result? Net result is, we do not desire the illusion to possess. 
we do not want to change the uh, illusion we don't want to improve the illusion and we are not disturbed by the illusion so when it is said brahma satyam jagat mithya this world is an illusion what it will mean we will be free from desires for anything in this world desires are possess destroy improve change these are the different expressions of desire this will not happen because it is an illusion second thing second thing is told here everything is brahman sarva bhuta stam atmanam sarva bhuta anichatmani seeing oneself in everybody and everything in oneself means what there is no sense of otherness so be attentive will i have a special desire for the left hand and the right hand because i am in the left hand i am in the right hand so when everything is recognized as divine and in that everything we are also included we cannot have our own desire desire is always about something which is other than the self now put these two thoughts together when everything is illusion no desire when you are divine no desire therefore sarvabhutastam atmanam sarvabhutani chatmani sampashyan having this recognize this brahma paramam yati nane na hetuna one has merged himself in the absolute and what is the merging in the absolute freedom from desires no desire of any kind this point i told so many times try this don't be a leader be a follower see like here i have come now <clears throat> in phoenix what i have to do where i stay where i have to go somebody is doing it for so i am relax now here we have come now who will drive the car whether the gas is there or not everything i don't have to worry somebody is doing for me now from here before i came here it is already decided by somebody he will come and pick me up and take people pick me and drop me pick me and drop me i am relax don't have to think but if i start no no i want to go with him no i want to don't want to go with him you are creating problems see be a follower then you are relaxed in life but then i i i but i don't like this thing never mind keep it with you <laughs> don't like therefore sam pashyan brahma paramam yati nanne ane hetuna there is no other way na ane na hetuna by no other means can we know the truth up to here we are seen then we come in <coughs> the 11th mantra which we have taken half of it atmanam aranim krutva <coughs> प्रणव चोत्तरारणी ज्ञान निर्मतनाभ्या पाशं दहति पंडित सो आत्मा अर्णी कृवा वन सेल्फ द लोअर कप एंड दि अपर कप इज द प्रणव ओम एंड इन बिट्वीन इज द चर्निंग रॉड ऑफ इंटलेक्ट एंड इट इज बीन चर्न लाइक turning the uh, yogurt do you know the spelling of yogurt y o g h u r t yogurts does it help see all yogas yogis will kill me see <clears throat> so 
वी आर चर्निंग नाउ व्हाट इज टू बी डन आत्मानम अर्निंग कृत्वा हु इज दिस आई कैन आई बी दिस हाउस नो आई कैन नॉट बी दिस हाउस कैन आई बी माय पोजीशंस नो दे कैन कम एंड गो कैन आई बी दिस बॉडी नो बिकॉज I have not created the body. The body doesn't listen to me. I don't want to become fat, but it becomes fat. Can I be the prana? No, because prana can be controlled. Controlled is other than the controller. How can I be prana? Can I be the mind? Mind is also whimsical. Sometimes this, sometimes that. It is not steady. How can I be the mind? Can I be the intellect? No, because it is available some time. It is not available some other time. Waking is available. Deep sleep not available. Oh, so I can't be there. Then ultimately we come to the point wherein we come to know that everything is happening in me, but nothing is happening to me. This is the meaning of Atma Anam Aradim Krutva Pradavam Chottara Aradim. To practice this Nyan Nirmathana Abhyasat, Nyan Nirmanthana Abhyasa. What is the practice there for? I told you with the help of uh, Yoga Vasistha, try this thing, and I am sure you will not try. Play, don't do meditation. Play that you are trying to experience what must be the experience of the space. This is nana mantan, not mechanical. What must, what it must be? What must be the experience of space? I will not give you data right now. For some time you work. What must be the experience of space? Your mind has come to stand still, is it not? But don't be happy with that. We have to go further. Space supports everything. Doesn't reject anything. At the same time, doesn't get influenced by anything. so all the possessions of our life they should not influence us whatever we have we don't reject it we use it but if something goes away we don't have to cry Here it happened recently. One daughter got married, and this uh, mother was so mad, crazy, and telling, "No, you don't go with your husband. You stay with me only. You cannot go like that. I have given you birth. Who is this boy? Yesterday he has come. He will take you. No, 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 no. After marriage. Now see, who can help that per lady? So when. <clears throat> The whole family came. Swami Ji, please help me. Now, this is a proof. Straight away, I started. I said, "She is terribly monster, destroying everybody's peace." So she never expected I will talk to her in this language. As is the medicine, so is the disease. So as is the disease, so is the medicine. Bhagwan Krishna did not talk to Arjuna in a good language. No, beta. We have come here for war. We should do the war. No, 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 no. Life by Mahasma Gama Partha. You important. Imagine a warrior on the battlefield is addressed as important. He was completely shaken. See, friends. 
so support everything but don't hold on to anything in this world this is jnana nirmasana abhyasa so first practice of knowledge is that yes we all we have everything nice use it enjoy it but don't, don't hold on to this you know how important it is then <clears throat> after the worldly possessions do not become a great issue for us then we can take to the second stage i tell you in this uh, area i really appreciate the white people they are not holding on to things in this world this house is my great grandfather he even doesn't know who is <laughs> relax keep on accumulating 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 don't get hooked up anywhere charai veti charai veti keep moving you know what happens actually i'll get, tell you through some example somebody was doing the puja aarti of ganga ji and ganga ji was very happy because the other aarti it was said that because of ganga ji so many villages so many um, you know towns cities are benefited ganga ji is so great ganga ji thought oh i am really great then she said okay i will stop flowing and i will become stagnant in the villages and towns when she became stagnant the water started rotting moving waters never rot stagnant waters always rot when the water started rotting then the people started condemning her just because she has forgotten her goal her goal was ganga sagar not varanasi not haridwar not rishikesh in the same manner the goal of our life is not study education job uh, marriage children k k k k that is not the goal these are the by products on the way destination is ganga sagar hold on to that this is jnana nirmatana abhyasa this is the practice of knowledge so first we are practic- uh, playing what it is like being gross space now we come to the second stage the mind space like in the gross space there are gross objects in the mind space there are thought objects and we don't have to do anything it is like that now same principle gross objects supported by the gross space do not influence the gross space in the same manner thoughts supported by the mind space mind space doesn't get influenced by the thoughts because thoughts are nothing but mind like the same example like if there are many wrinkles on the cloth will it be a burden to the wrinkle cloth and when the wrinkles are removed by ironing will it become light no so the cloth is like the mind space and the wrinkles are like the thoughts so all the wrinkles are supported by the cloth but not getting influenced by the cloth in the same manner mind is supporting all thoughts good and bad but when we get influenced by that then we start suffering and therefore the next step is this that we have to not get influenced by all kinds of thoughts which come in our mind they will keep on coming 
inspiration is different from excitement. Many people, they get into so-called spiritual path out of excitement. Excitement is not spiritual, uh, the quality of a spiritual seeker. He should be inspired. Excitement is uh, an abnormality of the mind. See, Bhagwan says, I am not telling from my head, third chapter. Mai sarvani karmani sannyasya dhyatma chetasa nirashi nirmamo bhutva yudhyasva vigata jvaraha. Focus your mind on me in completeness and thereafter Nirmamo Bhutva, drop your past. Nirashi Bhutva, don't worry about the future. And in the present, Vigata Jvaraha, don't become excited. Okay. Then we remain inspired. Again, Bhagavan said the same thing, Arjun. When he said Klaibhyam Masamagama means don't function under frustrated, depressed mood, but function under an inspired mood. An inspired person is balanced. Inspired person is creative. Inspired person is committed. Excited are only for a few moments. See? In Kaivalya Dham, it happened many years before. There are other patients also used to come for treatment. And when my lectures were going on, one lady from Punjab, she saw me, Swamiji, I can come for you. I said, You come for lecture, it's free. She came. And then uh, after the talk, and I was talking the time on Brahma Sutra with the Bhashya, very terse subject. And this lady told me after lecture, Swamiji, your health is okay. I said, why? You are not telling jokes. I feel like I should give her one hard. Am I telling jokes? Am I a joker? Or I am talking about the truth? You know, in your normal, useless kind of uh, things, when Katha is going on and everybody is in a drowsy mood, then what that Babaji has to do? See, ah, our Ramachandra ki dum 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 dum. Everybody is awake. Ah, again, till something. Here I can't do that. Therefore, when I see the breakfast has gone in the head, not in the stomach. Then what I have to do? I can't do tabla peti. Then some light mood comes and most of the people laugh and this giant was sleeping. And when everybody laughs, then he also wakes up. And then, kya ho gaya, kya ho gaya? And then he was told the joke. And then he alone laugh, laughs, alone. See? Why this happens? Because we are not inspired. And to remain inspired, don't become excited on things. See? No depression, no excitement, remain cool. The other day in Mumbai, one lady came. She says, Swamiji, I want to do something for you. I said, uh, do whatever you like. What should I do? I said, I don't do. No, but unless you tell, I will not do. I said, thank God, go. So please tell me what I should do. I said, will you really do it? Yes. Don't come again. See, everybody cannot do everything. And when we are capable, then we are told. This is because the mind is excited. Remain cool. Second practice. Jnana Nirmathana Bhyasat. 
the third practice. The first was gross space, Bhutakash. Second was Chittakash, the mind space. The third is Chidakash. That is the practice of knowledge. So, in every experience, we have got these three components. One is the area of experience. Secondly, the experience of that area, things or beings. And third is the experiencer. So, the experience in the world does not bother us. We have done the first abhyasa practice being gross space. Second thing, any experience of this world does not disturb us. We have practiced the second mind space or the chittakash. Now the third, the one who is practicing spiritual life, he is at peace. What is the meaning of at peace? Sukha dukkhe samay krutva labha labha jaya jayo tato yuddhanyo yujjaswa naivam papam avapsasi Nothing disturbs us. Somebody appreciates, somebody condemns. Somebody scolds, somebody hugs. No problem. There was a great Mahatma during his uh, time as a seeker, he used to go to some Mahatma and that Mahatma was very angry sometime, abusing bad language and everything. But he used to go and serve him because he was a great Mahatma, Siddha Purush. So <clears throat> he asked one day, Sir, why you become angry and shout and abuse? Again he became angry. When, when I become angry, I never become angry. Then he said, did I ask you to come to me? No, you are come. Did I tell you get away? No. In the same manner, like you come and go, anger comes and goes. I don't become angry. This is the Chidakash Sadha. Let there be miseries. Don't become miserable. Let there be success. Don't become excited. Chidakash. Our life is a constant. This is what is meant. Atmana maranim krutva pranavam chotararanim jnana nirmathana bhyasad pasham dahati panditaha the panditaha the sincere, intelligent student who has worked on this. What happens? Pasham dhati. Pasha is the uh, ropes which are binding us down. All those ropes are burnt away. Now what are the ropes? Ropes are wrong notions. We all are bound by our own wrong notions. Wrong notions about ourselves, about the world, about God and about the spiritual practice. See? Our wrong notion about ourselves is, I am very good, I am very sincere. See? I do everything for everybody, but nobody likes me. I don't Holier than thou. Wrong notions. What Vedanta does is, wrong notions are removed without creating a new notion. This principle should be deep in our system. See? The other day somebody came and asked, Swamiji, now you cannot say no to me. I said, you can't dictate me. No, not like that, but I want Diksha from you. I said, I have not given Diksha, no mantra to anybody. 
बट आई वॉन्ट आई से यू मे वॉन्ट आई डोंट वॉन्ट बट वाई आई से इज नॉट युअर बिजनेस यू कैन टाइम मी डाउन गुरु इज नॉट मेन फॉर टाइंग यू डाउन इज मेन फॉर लिबरेशन यू स्टडी दिस विवेक चूड़ामणि एट द एंड इट कम्स आफ्टर ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन वर गिवन देर आफ्टर गुरु वेंट हिज वे द डिसाइपल वेंट हिज वे नॉट होल्डिंग ऑन टू गुरु महाराज उठा म्यूल गुरु You are given freedom. You are not tied down. See, friends. Therefore, jnana nirmathana bhyasat pasham dhati pandita ha. So, what is the pasha? This wrong notion. Keep the guru outside and do anything. No, 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 no. Let that guru be born in your heart. See. that is the real meaning of the guru therefore wrong notion about ourselves then wrong notion about the world the world is terrible which world is terrible the mountains are terrible the roads are ter- nothing world is terrible for us means what world means the people see i have done so much for my children but they kicked me out because you are available to kick live at zero expectation level don't expect anything from anybody including god so wrong notion is the bond bondage wrong notion about ourselves i am man i am woman i am young i am old so many specialities we have burdened ourselves below and in addition to that one more speciality i am is spiritual see this principle i told you and i am sure you have forgotten it spiritual evolution means discard all special status निर्विशेष सत्ता नॉन स्पेसिफिक एक्सिस्टेंस नॉन स्पेसिफिक एक्सिस्टेंस मीन्स इट इज नॉट एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ समथिंग एक्सिस्टेंस इट सेल्फ वॉट इज स्पेसिफिक एक्सिस्टेंस दिस इज अ माइक इट इज नॉट ए टेबल Now this is a table. It is not the floor. This is the floor. It is not the bed. So every object is specified with attributes, but existence is the same. In technical language, it is called as the effect always goes back to the cause, like the clay pot when it is broken clay pot is broken clay pot is underlined broken but the pieces are there so what was is in one pot has become are in all the pieces then those pieces are powdered so pieces have gone but the dust is there therefore the truth is non specific existence we are all leading a life of specific existence i am indian i am not indian i am rich i am not poor and the worst is the illusion you don't know what is the highest illusion the illusion of wisdom i know everything realize these <laughs> friends so pasham what is binding us these wrong notions about ourselves about the world third wrong notion about god 
pushing him. Go, no, go. See? Living only on emotions. On the Krishna, 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 Krishna. Do you know between these two gods, uh, Rama and Krishna, the most sufferer is Rama, not Krishna. Because Rama is always ready to listen to you in the family. And what the devotees will constantly eat his head. Ram, 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 Bhagavan says, Beta, kya chahiye, what you want? Ram, 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 Ram. He is talking to you, but you are not listening. And yet we don't stop. Then what he will do? Anumanji, chu. Don't push the Rama out somewhere. Be aware. See? The second thing. Why Krishna doesn't? He doesn't listen to you. He's busy with his Radha and Murli. Keep on talking. Who listens to you? We have pushed him away from ourselves. Just try this simple technique I tell you about God. In a classroom, kids were there, boys and girls. And they were fighting with each other, as the children do. And one of the child said, hey, miss is coming. The moment somebody said, miss is coming, everybody became quiet. As if nothing has happened. They have not seen her coming, only heard. Everything quietened. Apply this principle. Bhagwan Krishna, Bhagwan Ram is in our heart. Before we do anything, He knows. Before we talk anything, He hears. Before we think anything, He knows. Don't push Him away. Asham Dhati Pandita. See, my friend, this bondage of wrong notions is burnt away by this knowledge. And fourth, wrong notion is about spiritual practice. Kurute Ganga Sagara Gamanam Rata Paripala Namathava Dhanam. Once we went to uh, Gangapur, Bhagwan Dattatreya's place, Nrsimha Saraswati Maharaj. Recently also I went there. So, first time when I went, there were few uh, Ammas, devotees of Bhagwan Dattatreya. And when we were going to that river Sangam, wherever, whatever it is, so there were laborers, um, this beggar sitting in a row. So there is a tradition to give something in bhiksha. So she said, Swamiji, I want to give to all of them. I said, there are about 100. Then the chapatis are available there, ready-made chapatis. So you take chapatis and give them. Swamiji, so much I can't spend. Uh, I'll do one thing, I'll buy 25 chapatis, cut them into five, four pieces, give to everybody. I said, don't do Then you give only to 25 people. Don't have to go to all. No, I have to give to all. But I can't uh, afford that. I said, then why you are creating problem? Don't give at all. See, I am not giving. No, 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 I want to do that. If ladies can listen to somebody, understand God's grace has come on you. And never listen. Never. Meri murgi ki eki tang. But normally they say, that the murgi has two tongues. Nay, meri murgi ki ekki tongue. He will not listen. Then she has purchased 25 chapati, cut them, and wanted to give to the beggar. Not a single beggar took it. We don't want to. He says to me. Anyway. Why they are not taking? 
اچھا آئی سیٹ دے رہے ہیں کیونکہ بھی وائی دے ایسی یو آس دیم آئی ڈونٹ آئی ایم ناٹ اے ویگر شی گاٹ سو فرسٹریٹیڈ سوامی جی اس کا میں کیا کروں گھر جا کے پرساد دے دو سب کو گانگا پور کا پرساد دین دی when she was frustrated so i ask one uh, said you know why you are not taking bole maharaj we tell you the truth these ladies don't understand you tell me he said we get complete chapati then same chapati we give back to the shopkeeper he sells you for 2 rupees per chapati we give him the same chapati for 1 rupee so it is recycled <laughs> and now this one quarter who will take it <laughs> i said dhanya bhagwan <laughs> i agree with you so our spiritual practice is this funny things See? you go to haridwar rishikesh or any temple places their beggars are sitting for giving you the change See, 10 rupees, you will get 90 rupees. <laughs> that is the change. It goes on recycling. That is not spiritual practice. Spiritual practice is you are at peace with yourself. Constantly agitated, excited, want to do something. No, relax, relax. that is important so all these are called as pasham see pasham is the rope by which we are tied down therefore atmana maranam krutva pranavam jyotaranim jnana nirmathana abhyasat pasham dahati pandita in this nobody can help us there is no proxy on the spiritual path you know what is the proxy on the spiritual path rich people they engage pandit ji to do puja in their house so the pandit ji that is his profession so he has to go to 10 15 places therefore he will go in fat fat and then they expect bhagwan ka prasad pandit ji ko milega tumko nahi milega he has done the puja see that is not spiritual practice our life we have to live our death we have to die we have to practice our own spiritual practice nobody can do it for us so all the problems are if we want to uh, summarize the whole thought all the problems are the problems of wrong notions we are all carrying the burden of wrong notions discard the wrong notions atmaiva atmano bandhu atmaiva ripuratmanaha nobody can help we have to be on toes ever ready fresh cheerful and when we are at peace then only things becomes easy to grasp if we are disturbed sleepy agitated what i have to do after the satsang i am telling you this thing from my own experience we used to accumulate our clothes and then morning meditation cold weather and then oh god uh, after meditation i'll wash my clothes you know today i can't do it we keep on accumulating and then meditation clothes washing why they don't keep the washing machines you know here we are come to study upanishad why we have to wash our clothes you know washing clothes is not spirituality you know meditation going on 
Sometimes meditation is every day, idli, dosha, dosha, idli. Even in the dream, we get the idli, dosha. Instead of pulling the bed sheet on the body, we used to pull the dosha. Instead of the pillow, we used to have the idli and sleep. In the dream, meditation. Can you imagine? What sadhana can we do? Get out of all these things. And therefore, nothing to do, nowhere to go. Simple rule. Relax. Don't go on planning too many things. This is relax, relax. Normally, more than planning, we worry. Planning is a creative present moment. Worrying is a destructive present moment. Bhagavan says in Bhagavad Gita, I am not telling from my head. It is all in our scriptures. Bhagavan says in 10th chapter, he says, he gives his vibhutis, 73. And one of the vibhuti is Niti Rasmi Jigishitam. Jigishitam, those who want to be successful in life, their ability to plan their future, see, and work on it. So if you want to get a simple kind of a slogan, plan your work and work your plan. We only plan, never work. We plan. Because we will get up You have to work also. Oh. See? Now, this Paramatma that we are, now the story continues. Sa eva maya parimohitatma Shreera mastaya karoti sarvam. Shreera mastaya karoti sarvam. Striyanna panadi vichitra bhogai. Striyanna panadi vichitra bhogai. Sa eva jagrat paritrupti meti. Sa eva jagrat paritrupti meti. Sa eva. The one whom we have discovered, that Paramatma. What was said in the earlier verse, that Jnana Nirmathana Bhyasat Pasham Dhati Panditaha. So by this practice of knowledge, when we are free from the wrong notions, see, be attentive. Knowledge is not given. You are that knowledge. Then wrong notions are removed. See, the most important thing, this also I told you earlier. In Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Krishna did not ask Arjun, did you get the knowledge? Bhagavan Krishna asked him, Kachid Adnana Sammoha Pranastaste Dhananjaya. Hey Dhananjaya, you are delusion born out of wrong notion. Is it gone or not? And Arjuna also says, Nashto mohaha smriti labdha tat prasadat maya chuta. Titosmi gata sandehaha. Now there is no doubt left in me. See friend, knowledge is never given. You cannot give knowledge. Only wrong notions are removed. See. Therefore, in this twelfth mantra, the teacher says, Sa eva. Sa eva means what? This sadhaka, he who was under the influence of the wrong notions, when his wrong notions are removed, then he will come to know this thing. That sa, that paramatma, sa eva, he alone, maya parimohitatma. Now the same paramatma is maya parimohitatma. He is now under the influence of the Maya. 
for this maya should be clearly understood maya is defined many ways we should take it is for us to apply in life ma means measurement char mahanagro ke tapman ma is measurement so maya means that knowledge which is measured knowledge not complete knowledge for example by our vision we can see only the vibgyor spectrum of light is it not from violet up to red beyond that our eyes cannot go and because of this if we insist if i cannot see by eyes i don't believe it then we are under the influence of maya mi yate anaya ya sa maya what cannot be understood by the intellect but unless i understand i will not accept it we are under the influence of maya you cannot be the body it is okay for you to say but i can't give up then you are under the influence of maya so eva maya parimohitatma so what is the maya therefore functioning through the limitations of the pancha koshas and taking that to be the ultimate reality and holding on to that is called as maya parimohitatma so eva maya parimohitatma then what he does शरीर मास्ताय करोति सर्वम नाउ ही हैज गिवन अप हिज डिविनिटी एंड ही स्टार्ट लिविंग एज समबडी सी नाउ टेक योर डे टू डे एग्जांपल मैन गेटिंग आइडेंटिफाइड विद द वाइफ बिकम द हस्बैंड सो मैन इज परमात्मा गेटिंग आइडेंटिफाइड विद द वाइफ हैज बिकम द हस्बैंड हस्बैंड इज द जीव परिमोहितात्मा मैन इज हजबंड बिकम्स नो बडी इज बॉर्न हजबंड वी आर बॉर्न एज मैन और वुमन वी बिकम हजबंड एंड वाइफ एंड हु इज मिजरेबल नॉट द मैन और द वुमन इज हजबंड एंड द वाइफ परमात्मा इज नॉट मिजरेबल Jiva is miserable. Now, what is the cause? Shari Ramastha ya karoti sarvam. He takes himself to be the body. This point should go deep in our understanding, my friend. This waking world is the solid reality. Till such time we are identified with our body. no body can help us in this and how do we know that we are progressing on a spiritual path sukha kachra kam hoga there is no end to it not only grahasthas but sanyasi like us keep on accumulating gross things I'll tell you one Mahatma, Brindavan. His disciple was is my very good friend. He is also very old. So when I went to Brindavan, he happened to come. He said, "Swami ji, please come. I'll take you to my Swami ji." I said, "Come." We went there, uh, sat and did namaskar, chamatkar. He was hundred and seven years old. And. Uh, he had a big bunch of keys with him and he called one of his disciple idhar aaja give the key go inside open the door lock door this is the key for the door open it go inside on the right side third almira this is the key for the almira open that 
in the second shelf there are sweet boxes bring only one box which is on the right side and lock the almira properly and when he came did you lock properly this this room this you are not drive i don't know what to do with you people he locked it give the key and then he opened that box which was only half half he had already distributed earlier see and then to everybody he gave after all that namaskar jump over then my friend told me he said swami ji when we came in contact with swami ji he was so different but somebody gave him ashram maharaj this big ashram we want somebody bairagi purusha so it was given to him and he was buried in that the friends so important chari ramastaya karoti sarvam our whole life is only living as the body living for the body nothing beyond it therefore two things happen after body identification sukha kachra gila kachra anyone those seekers who are walking the spiritual path do you think they don't have the sukha gila kachra they are also have god they will be having their instruments their their mala and their this thing and that thing wherever they go all that uh, things are with them lesser the possessions closer we are to ourselves more the possessions we are pushed away from ourselves sharira mastay karoti sarva then he takes the position of a doer i have done this thing i have done that thing and this is how the samsara begins so how paramatma is reduced to the jivatma because of these three things identification with the body then identification with the mind and identification with their absence jagra sapna sushupti what is that we we'll leave it for our next class thank god swami om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachade purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vishishate om shanti